Turns out the smell was leftover Chinese in the passenger seat. Oh, God. Of course, I haven't had Chinese in a long time. Ooh. Aw. Did you do that? Well, you know what they say. You can't spell Madison without aw. Aw, <laughs> Madison. I mean, there's only one A, but if you stretch it, I guess. Look what she did. <laughs> it's a heart. Yeah, she did that on mine, too. This is bigger. Thanks for noticing. Very good. Look, okay. We got a system here. Okay, Madison flirts with the boys. You flirt with the girls. But okay. Scott and I... No, 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 no. The girls, Carrie. Okay. okay. Take it from me. How many more of these do you have? Eight boxes of scones, scones, scones. Eight boxes? Yeah. You fit all that in a Prius. Divine physics is fun. Tiabitha. Coffee. Room for cream? Yes, Irish. Rich. Give me an almond rocus steamer, double pump, half skim, half soy. Yes to whipped cream, and let's keep it in the cup this time, not dribbling down the side. We're not in Russia. Len. Usual? Yeah. Amy? Surprise me. Nothing tastes the same twice here anyway. What the sack? I get my drink in a landfill timeshare and somehow Glenn gets his own mug. Glenn comes in every day, only orders decaf, and he only causes trouble when he overhears something he shouldn't. You only come in when you have a coupon. You order the most asinine drinks that no one has ever even heard of. You're rude, you're sexist, and you never tip. This would never happen at Starbucks. Starbucks banned you for life when they caught you downloading hentai porn in their bathroom. I believe it is pronounced hentai. Oh, excuse me. And at least they were polite about it. Seriously, ready whip? What am I, in prison? He's on break. Awesome. I need somebody to wrap this. What is it? It's a helmet. Sam does this thing every weekend where he dresses up like a pirate and beats the shit out of people. It's um... S and M? LARPing? Yes, that's it. Live action role playing. I'm a programmer, I speak geek. His old play suit is shot to hell, so I thought I'd make him a new one. You made this? Yeah, do a little welding on the side. Besides, it's our anniversary. He doesn't even know, does he? It's cold. Scott, what the hell is that? Uh, cream puff. He's going for the world record. It's a big damn cream puff. Mm -hmm. That's the point. Hmm. Oh, Aubrey's here. All right, look, I got 20 minutes left in my shift, okay? Don't think for a second your sister is going to pull me out of here so I can go play time with Ben, all right? She says that she needs help carrying something. Great. You know what? I hope it's a recliner to replace the one that Ben broke the last time they came over. No, no. You broke it, and then you convinced Ben to sit on it so he would take the blame. Which, if you recall, he did. <sighs> Madison! Wrap this. $15 to TJ Maxx? It's our seven-year anniversary. I figured I'd splurge. I didn't know you were married. Shut up, Gary. We're not, okay? Which is a hot fact your family will not let me forget. So let's not make it a hot topic around here. I can't work Thursdays. Astrid has the car. You live four blocks from here. It's winter! Astrid? I think someone in here has something special for you. Oh my god, Astrid, congratulations! To your sister! Oh, oh, that's great! Thank you. Wow, that is really... Tiny. Yeah. Yeah, Ben likes to say it's small but mighty, just like me. What do you do, Ben? Oh, I'm a personal trainer. He's a gym teacher. Who's personally responsible for training the children of America to be the best that they can. Oh, thanks, man. Cheers. Gary, you flirt with girls. So, Aubrey, how long have you and Ben been dating? Two years. And how long have you two been dating? Forever. That's right, man. Happy anniversary. Ben didn't even want us to mention this today. He didn't want to steal your thunder. But I told him after seven years, your thunder is basically down to a drum roll, so... When is the big day, Aubrey? We don't even know yet. I've always pictured an outdoor wedding. But that means we have to find a weekend that falls in between Ben's many, many, many allergy seasons. January's good. But January is their anniversary. We should go to dinner. No rush. Our reservations are at eight. Oh, cumberbunds. Here's an idea. 
How about everybody says yes to the dress in the back room so that I can finish the schedule before somebody's wedding album is going to need eye patches? Astrid, let's go find a dress. Uh, what's your price rate? No limit. Big spender. Babe? Uh, go ahead, honey. It's the, you can follow the girls and go with that guy. I'm going to stay up here and ball with my brother. In law. Someday. Hey, man. I want to know if I could ask you a favor. Ben, please tell me you have actual friends. Okay, because right now I'd be the worst best man you could ever find. I'll be in the office. Pretending it's soundproof. What? Sorry. Look, man, when I was going to propose, I had it all figured out. Then the school did some budget cuts, and now I got some holes in my plan. Well, what? Like only a one-week honeymoon? Because I hear the trend among personal trainers this year is two. I got laid off, Sam. <laughs> Seriously? You're screwed. Have you seen the stuff she's putting post notes on back there? The centerpieces cost more than your car. I know, and she deserves it, right? It's not her fault I got laid off, and she shouldn't have to compromise. That's why I know you'll help me out, man. Bro to bro. Yeah, sorry, bro. My escape pod's in the shop. I don't need an escape pod. I need a job, Sam. Ben, you need to take a better look around here. Okay, for us, this is busy. You should see our breakfast rush. It's like five people. One of them eats through a tube. 20 hours, man. Ten. Ben, I don't get the hours to pay my own bills. Okay, every month Astrid and I have to play Russian roulette with our utilities. So even if I didn't want to help, which I don't, I can't, okay? Aw, oh, dude, don't be emo. You're right. I mean, I'll find something. I just hope we don't have to call off the wedding. Then Aubrey's parents are going to come down hardcore on you and Astrid with the graduation questions, the marriage questions, the baby questions. But, I mean, you guys are ready for that, right? You've been dating, what, seven years? Okay, look, if you stab me, do it here but not here because this is my trigger finger, all right? Sam? The schedule is finished. Yeah. Great. One change. Do you know Ben right? Yeah, he he needs a little pre-wedding nest egg. So he's going to start closing for me on Wednesdays here, which means I can spend more time with Astrid before she drowns us all in a pool of despair. Sound good? Four hours? Look, Ben, four hours is all I have, okay? You want more? You figure out a way to make it happen. We're out of decaf. Just tell him it's decaf. It's all in your head. Hi, I'm Ben. I'm new. Madison. Madison. I dig that. That's a stripper name. Yep, and if I don't start getting more hours around here, it's gonna be a stripper name. Welcome to Affogato. Thank you so much, man. One more thing. Ben, that girl is 20 years old. Can we not tell Arby about this? Tell me about what? Dinner time. Wait until you see these centerpieces. <clears throat> uh, Ben was just saying that uh, he and Sam never really get to spend any time together. Yeah, and then Sam was all like... I have these four extra hours a week on the schedule. Why don't you come in and see how I run my own domain? How you do what now? Babe, I love you, but you don't have to do this. You spend your entire day working with children. I know, but it's worth it. Especially if it brings us closer together. Aww. Happy anniversary. Did they ever stop? <laughs>